please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. 79.3 billion naira was paid to seven contractors for contracts that were not executed at all up to today. Another 15.9 billion, almost 16 billion, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting documents anywhere in the state. Another 12 billion naira was paid to two contractors for contracts that do not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25, 2020. And that is almost four years. Paid to some contractor for the construction of Abia State Airport. We have spent time trying to locate the airport. Um, up to now, we have failed. Yes, good day everybody that is watching us all over the world. This is Face TV Africa. Um, Please try to subscribe to our channel, help us to share our videos so that um, we can do, you know, more videos, you know. Um, now, the, the thing is this, there's something that came up, um, one video is going viral last week, from last week, I think it was from last week, Monday, to like, um, still trending now. And I discovered one thing. I commended Ashwa Jubala Amentinumbu administration, especially in uh, the finance, the aviation, uh, the CBN governor, um, interior minister. You know, most of them are, you know, they are trying, we are seeing their work. The FCT, you know, minister in Abuja, uh, Wiki, all of them, they are trying, and we can really see their work and we can see what is going on in the country. Accepted that um, uh, we are not satisfied yet. Nothing has happened because this country has been damaged. Uh, president, uh, former President uh, Buhari, really, you know, bring down this country to be candid with the caliber of people that work with him. I was, I, I'm, I'm very disappointed. But now, I discover one thing: when um, EFCC arrested. Um, they are, uh, attempt to arrest Yaya Bello. and they are saying that um, they wanted to probe him about 80 billion naira. <laughs> Aha, man, this country, I, I think we are under spell. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure we are because how could someone <laughs> and the new, you know the funny thing part, eh? this EFCC. That's not where I'm going. Let me just leave that one aside. I will come to that topic. I'm going to do program on it, special on that. Now, there is one video that was trending last week. I want us to analyze that video because there is a lot of things that is going on in this country that we Nigerians, we diverted all our energy, all our strength, criticizing the federal government. And we now leave our governors, our former governors. No query, nothing. The energy we transfer to federal government, if we transfer that energy, criticizing the state governor, you know, querying them, asking them what they've done, I'm very sure, I'm not saying we can, we'll be there, but at least we can achieve something in our state. Because, see Lagos State, Lagos State is moving fine. See Ogun State, Ogun State is trying or your states, yes. Sheyimakide, this man is really trying and is working hard. Alex Oti, the Labour Party candidate, 
that won the governor of Abia, Abia State. That man is very, very, very good. To be kind, the man is delivering. And I love what he's doing in, 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 in Abia State. See what he's doing. See what is happening there. A new construction of road clear the areas of the um, the debt of uh, pensioners and everything over 10 billion. And I watched one video when Alice, you know, saying that um, they investigate the former governor, which is um, Victor Ikpeazu, <laughs> talking of over 107 billion naira. I will first play one video of uh, Victor Ikweazu, you know, trying to address press about one airport that they want to build and analyzing as if they want to build that airport. Let us watch that video first. After we watch that video, then I will now go to Alex Oti's video where he was measuring the 10 billion they spent for airports that does not exist who are these people do they have hearts because i don't understand alex oti just used it's not even up to a year abia state started changing drastically this is not about magic why are we like this don't let me even say much Let's go to that video. Let's watch that video first and see. <laughs> Let's watch the video. We need an airport. Because if you want to create um, a commercial hub, um, access is key. Access is key. One. Two. Without deriding anybody, I've not seen one airport in Nigeria that can speak to what an airport should be in the 21st century. An airport is not a park. It's not a place, it's not a place you run to board a flight and go away. I, 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 have, I have enormous respect for, for the former governor of Lagos State. What he wanted to do around Doshudi scared me. As a governor, scared me. I, 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 I saw in him somebody who was thinking like me. You, you, you capture people in a place, and and five, six, seven million people pass through you every day. That's a resource. So why don't you aggregate them? Put AC, make them put AC around the corridors, then display things for them to buy. Because as they move about, if you have your little toddler or your three-year-old, and somebody is is uh, come and buy ice cream, and you see for the Christmas selling ice cream or something, that child you must buy that ice cream. But you must create the ambience to enable the person take the walk in that place with his child. But if it is rowdy and pickpockets are harassing and people are taking things, you know, my ideal airport is the airport in Dubai. If you go to Dubai Airport with two hundred thousand dollars, you will finish all the money there. You won't go home. And people come to Dubai just to to hold meetings and go away. So I was looking at a small compact airport that will have a hotel, not an airport that will close after nine p.m. An airport you can oh yeah I'm traveling to Lagos seven a.m. Let me go to the airport. I'll dance in the nightclub eat my dinner there in the morning I bought my flight all you want to do is to create many stations that money will change hands that's how to grow GDP you know so but if you go to the airport I use in my state if you go there now you will not see anybody you will not see anything unless it is an owl or something wild animal you won't see anything and yet, calculate the number of persons that come there, that pass through there. All of them passing through the airport has money. And they want to spend the money, but there is nothing. So, I wanted to create an economic hub 
a place you can have your bed and breakfast, a place you can have a nightclub, a place you can have a conference, set up rooms like this in an airport, so that, ah, I'm traveling, my flight is by six, but I'll arrive at the airport by three, let us hold the meetings, the tea you will drink there, the coffee, the everything, the food, all of those things are happening in that airport, and you create jobs, you create, and people coming who want to go again, even on account of the airport. So, it is still a priority for me. But my people feel that I needed to, to, to do other things. And then um, I, because I'm a teacher, I'm also a good listener. I, 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 I decided to, I decided to return the airport as a priority but go back to the drawing board and start planning again. As you can see, he said they want to build Abi now. Um, the present governor now, Alex Oti, analyzing it and seeing it that after the investigation, they discover that that airport did not exist. And we diverted all our energy criticizing federal government. I'm not saying federal government, it's, all, it's part of all of us, we have to do it. I'm not saying we should not criticize them. But I think it's a time Nigerians need to divert about 60% of their energy to the state government. Because these people are ripping us a lot. you just be hearing 30 billion, 50 billion, nothing for it. If they investigate all our former governors from 1999 till date, most of them will go to jail. And to me, this EFCC, I don't really know what they created it for. Because they will compromise themselves. N now, see, you will see that lawyer will go and defend this man now. This Alice, uh, this uh, Victor Ikuyazu. Now, is, is it not the lawyer that defended the, um, this man in court, Yaya Belu? It's because they want to be their own selfish interest. This is some fear, our governors. It, see Ogun State, the, the, the judiciary, they are in court presently that we are talking. Not paying money. And not as if there is no money. Sit some roles in Ota. Ogun State Governor, you have to do something. All these our governors, we need to we need to divert all our energy to them and start criticizing them too. Not only federal governments. If we want this country to move forward, to me, Ashwajibola Metinubu is trying his possible best to reshape this country. This country, they've spoiled this country already. It's not possible for Ajayibala Metinubu to just build it and start you know, going smoothly. No, it's not possible. The road is rough already. They have to start renovating, put something in places before you now see that thing is going smoothly. But now, presently, the policy they are putting in place, Ajayibala Metinubu is trying his possible best to make sure that you know, they reshape this country to the right path. But our governors, these people, want to power say and we, we have to do something about it. Let me play the video of OT and see the governor OT and see what he said about his former governor, about his processor. Let's let's play it. Talking about corruption, <coughs> I had uh, set up a forensic audit uh, as soon as I took uh, took over last year in Abia, and. Um, so that there won't be any argument, I called in uh, one of the top three audit firms in the world. And not too long ago, they turned in their report. And some of the things in the report are frightening. So, some 9.3 billion naira was paid to seven contractors for contracts that were not executed at all up to today.
another 15.9 billion naira, almost 16 billion, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting documents anywhere in the state. Another 12 billion naira was paid to two contractors for contracts that do not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25, 2020. And that is almost four years. Paid to some contractor for the construction of Abia State Airport. <laughs> we have spent time trying to locate the airport. <laughs> um, up to now, we have failed. In fact, one of my aides told me the other day that maybe we are using uh, native intelligence to look for the airport that we should seek artificial intelligence. <laughs> so as we continue to look for airport, we have also involved security agencies to help us search and uh, so that's just an example of uh, what typically happens. And uh, when you juxtapose that uh, with pensions that we are lying unpaid for about 10 years and uh, salary areas, just one on this head in the 10 billion that was spent to build a non-existent airport was exactly the amount of money that our government used to take up the pension areas. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, enjoy your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi.